So I said just inputting um, weight for today. So I've currently lost a pound since yesterday. So a good start. And this is um, all the blank spaces for today I'm going to fill in right now um, for my food. So generally, generally I'll plan out what I eat uh, well in advance so that uh, I'm completely in control of my day. This is my breakfast this morning, guys. We've got um, one whole bagel with literally like a tiny bit of peanut butter on it. Like, there's not a lot on there. Um, I'm more about spreading my calorie intake evenly throughout the day today because um, it's going to be a long day. Uh, I'm doing a morning session at around 10 o'clock and then um, staying in a hotel tonight, uh, which means traveling this evening which also means self-control and things like that. So what I find is, and I might be speaking for a lot of you here because maybe a lot of you aren't breakfast or morning people. Um, all depends what phase I'm in, but particularly today, like I'm not going to be a breakfast person. I'm not going to have a lot. This is like 300 calories, um, but it's, it's kind of like more carb heavy because of the session this morning. Um, where I'll be doing uh, two blocks of, I say, 15 to 20 minutes at threshold or just below. But if you're not a morning person, what you can do is you can save most of your calories for the end of the day. So today's plan was to do a turbo session, which I managed to do with great motivation, supplied by uh, a good Zwift race. Um, something that I've always struggled with is motivation on the indoor trainer. And... Um, this kind of cures it a little bit, as well as the arcade, really. But today was a, was a race around Innsbruck, so I managed to do um, two 20-minute blocks of sweet spot. I woke up fairly early this morning to do some um, work. Uh, I think, like, definitely the first hour of the day, I find that I'm most productive. Like, I don't know why that is, but uh, I don't have any food. I just have a glass of water and sit down with my computer and just do a bit of work. Uh, I find that like is the most beneficial time to do it for me, but um, cracked on with that. Got on the turbo around half ten, was off around twelve, and then had myself a good lunch. And to be fair, like my diet has been like spot on today. Um, I'll put up like maybe I'll put up on the screen now what I've uh, what I've had today, or at least uh, what my final macros were and calories and stuff. So a little bit of a deficit, but not a lot. Um, I loaded myself some treats so I didn't actually track so I had like an ice cream or something um, so pretty close to, to fulfilling complete calories today but but still in a slight deficit uh, nonetheless tomorrow won't be like that though we're going to be in a calorie surplus tomorrow um, emphasis on carbohydrate but we'll get on to that tomorrow anyway so yeah the rest of the day was just spent kind of just getting stuff ready I just prepped like a lot of food the, the main thing I prepped in terms of food for this weekend is protein, or at least the next 24 hours anyway, is protein because, you know, you can stop in the services, you can stop in, you know, a supermarket or whatever. Protein is going to cost you a pretty penny. Like, if you want lean protein, like if you want packaged chicken or if you want, like, um, if you want a protein shake, if you want a protein bar, it's going to cost you a little bit of money. Uh, if, you, if you can prep at home... Uh, it'll obviously save you a bit more money because you can you can prep you know chicken from scratch and stuff. So that's what I've done, um, and I'll show you that tomorrow. Uh, my lunch is bare bone simple. All right, we're here. We're here. I've made it to um, the lodge. Bit of a weird way to get in here because um, you actually had to go to the spa, which was like across the road to get your key. I've arrived, staying at the Raglan Lodge, which is um, just here. It's like part of this brand new services that have been built just outside Monmouth. That's like an hour and a half away from home. So I've done a fair bit of the drive that I have to do this weekend already, which is always a bonus. So that you can get into the front main entrance of the hotel and then get into the room, which is very strange. But anyway, um, I'm here now. I'm here, I'm relaxing, I'm chilled. I'm gonna have uh, a 
a, my last bit of food to finish off uh, today. It's going to be 50 grams of cereal of my choice, which is Cheerios. Yes, you heard me right, Cheerios. I'm going to have that. I'm going to have um, a little yogurt, a Yeo Valley yogurt. There's prep right here. Gonna have one of these. Uh, it's around 150 calories in one. Um, pretty rounded macros. Uh, not usually the one I'd pick, but still um, great for traveling. It's actually my mum's. Um, shout out, mum. She loved me to steal it. And uh, my Cheerios. And that's gonna finish me off for tonight. I had a protein shake in the car. Um, and that's it. I mean, it's late now. I know it's like nearly 10 p.m. So. I don't really want to be eating anything massive before we go to bed. Um, and then it all starts again tomorrow. We've got a pretty busy day. Going to be up and away from here around 7.30 if I can help it. And then hopefully, like, hopefully I'll get to my halfway destination at around about 11 a.m. And then go for a spin and then I'm going to crack on with the rest of the drive. But today's probably the most, oh, I don't know. Tomorrow's going to be an interesting day, or at least in my stop-off point. But you'll see that tomorrow. Um, today was just kind of like a very mediocre day. Just getting ready for getting ready for Sunday's race. Right. Okay. See you tomorrow. AM. I am um, just selecting my destination now. An hour, oh no, two and a half hours to my destination, which will be roughly halfway. Vlog. I'm here. I'm here. Well, when I say I'm here, I'm not actually here. I'm still like ten minutes away, but I've stopped to get um, to get fuel. Um, it is glorious up north. It was actually uh, peeing it down where I stopped at the halfway destination. Roll the footage right now of where I stopped. Uh, take your guesses. I stopped at J Landmark Bicycles in Orkham. My better here, my better in the sun. Uh, I wanted to, I've been wanting to, to pay the guys there a visit for an awful long time. The, gu the guy's local to me, mainly because Anthony and a couple of others from Binia Cycling Club have uh, seen those bikes before in the flesh. Complete titanium bikes. If you want to check out more about them, you can check out their website, pretty good website. Um, with all of their information, I, I, I'd never seen one in the flesh before, but I wanted to stop halfway on this journey to kind of like stretch my legs, maybe get a ride in. Um, but it just so happens, I sent him a message. I was like, look, I'm gonna be in the area. Are you about? And instant response, yes, we're gonna be there. So I went for a ride with Dave. It was a pretty good ride. He took me on like one of the test routes. They take a lot of customers on. 
and uh, it was pretty fun because I was actually able to take one of their bikes out um, for a ride, the Jack. It's incredible actually how just how smooth it was. Like it's obviously different riding it on those roads compared to my roads. I mean, you know, you'd, you'd have to you'd have to give it a, a test in a variety of different areas, obviously. But I was riding pretty wide tires. Um, it, it ran extremely comfortably. Uh, it wasn't actually even kind of set up. It was literally like it started raining, and we were like, oh, "I can take my bike out, like right here," but I would be like, I would be in deep cack if I turned up with a with a muddy bike to 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 the mechanic right now. So they put me on a demo bike, and it was it was just it was incredible. Like the fact it didn't actually like. You know, it wasn't actually like a custom frame, which they now do. It wasn't like made to measure. Uh, it just had a standard Brook saddle on, which is really, really nice. Uh, but the titanium rides really well. It's the first time I've ever ridden a titanium bike. It's the first time I've ever ridden uh, a disc brake road bike, actually, as well. And um, I can see where, I don't know whether you guys know, like feel it, but I can see where disc brakes like are, are just. So uh, we took it out. We had a good chat and I uh, really enjoyed my time there. So thank you for having me, Dave. Thank you for having me, Jill Avrock Bikes. I don't want to get this wrong, so I'm going to read it out. It's a little bit of an extract from one of the magazines that was uh, that was lying on their, on their coffee table. Jack Lavrak was my grandfather's name, says Oliver Lavrak, explaining how he came to name his brand J Lavrak Bicycles. He was my inspiration and the reason I started the company, so I named it after him. Clearly, though, there's more to starting a bike brand than just having a relative who loved to ride. I started out designing frames purely for myself. I'm obsessed with Roubaix and Flanders and I wanted to try and create the perfect bike for my favourite rides of the year. It's how the original Jack, a kind of cyclocross come endurance come rough road classic special came out. Essentially it's a very robust frame with a comfortable geometry and I 100% agree with that. Uh, shame I didn't actually get a chance to meet uh, Ollie. But uh, if you're watching this all, I hope you get to meet soon. Funny enough. We weighed the bike and like it didn't have a bottle on, it didn't have a, a Wahoo mount, um, but I weighed it and it came in at 8.6 kilos and this was with discs, this is with um, you know Brooks saddle, standard, well wider bars than what I run on this. We weighed this with the race wheels, 7.95. That bike was nice, that bike was seriously nice. So I'm about to head over to the team hotel now. Believe it or not, it's the same place we stayed like two weeks ago. So I'm getting serious deja vu on this run in uh, into town. Um, I've got a few things to do. I'm like half drying my kit, my gilet that I wore earlier. It got a little bit wet, um, even though I hope I'm not gonna need it tomorrow. I've got like a fair bit of mess going on here. I've got a fair bit of mess going on here. Um, and I have to wash my socks by hand, which um, I made the mistake of not bringing black socks and it rained. And I picked up some jelly snakes from the Natural Confectionery Company. By the way, this is not an ad. The reason why I picked these up is because I'm feeling a little bit flat, like I've eaten like pretty well today. I've literally like planned like I have before, like I have every time, planned everything I've eaten today. But um, because of the amount of traveling, because I've, I've stopped off and I've you know done a bit of riding as well, I'm feeling a little bit flat. I feel like I need some, some carbs and these will hit the spot definitely. And uh, you may you may think it's you may think it's funny you may think it's laughable. They will be stored. They will be used. They will they will do well tonight in my um, carbohydrate loading stage. I'm not afraid of gaining weight through water or anything tonight or today because obviously tomorrow's race is fairly flat. Um, what does matter is my performance, so we're getting those down my neck before dinner tonight possibly and then off to the races tomorrow um, and then we're back on it Monday. Back on it! Alright, I'm burning up in the sun. Thanks for watching. Let me know if you like titanium. See ya.